Hi, my name is Vicki Hennessy, and I am running for Sheriff of San Francisco. I am a San Francisco native, graduate of Lowell High School, and a mother of two children. I worked in the San Francisco Sheriff's Department for over 32 years, 25 of those years as a manager and executive. I am the first woman to run for this office. I am not a practice politician, but a professional in the office I am seeking. I am running to restore proactive leadership to the department of over 900 employees by setting the example and holding myself as well as my staff accountable. Modeling proactive leadership means providing, communicating, and training the staff to clear expectations and then monitoring and following up, not just waiting until there is a crisis to take action. I'm running to return the balance of criminal and social justice to the department. The sheriff is an officer of the court with the priority of keeping all people safe, including those who work at, visit, or are incarcerated in our jails. Just as important as keeping people safe is our obligation to provide targeted, culturally sensitive treatment and programs to inmates in our jails that provide them meaningful skills and support for the best chance of transitioning back into the community successfully. I'm also running to ensure effective government communication. I believe that the majority of San Francisco's want government representatives that talk to each other, that communicate and collaborate on issues, finding solutions to provide the best outcomes for our residents. As an independent sheriff, it is crucial to be able to interact with all stakeholders, criminal justice agencies, social justice agencies, community stakeholders, and others to discuss coordination of services and development of clear measurements for the delivery of those services. I entered the San Francisco Sheriff's Department from the first list that actively recruited women and men on the same list, people of color and lesbians and gays. Within seven years, I promoted to the rank of captain through competitive testing and spent the next 25 years as part of the Sheriff's Valued Management Team. I worked to professionalize the department. I wrote the first comprehensive policies and procedures for the department, as well as the employee rules and regulations. I led a number of initiatives in the areas of capital improvements, field service, and custody management. I taught supervision and management, as well as ethics, to the staff. I worked in almost every unit and led each division. In 2006, I was loaned to the Department of Emergency Services as the deputy director, where I led the team that put together hazmat training for volunteers in response to the Costco Busan oil spill. We were able to train 1,200 people as disaster services workers and dispatch them to our coastline to pick up oil, all within one week. In 2008, I was appointed by the mayor as the executive director of the Department of Emergency Management, where I led the complete renovation of the 911 emergency dispatch floor without a loss of service and completed training in fire dispatch for our employees as well as completed up-to-date policies and procedures. In 2012, I was asked by the mayor to fill in as the interim sheriff while the current sheriff and my opponent fought his suspension. I found a department reeling from the negative media attention, but I was able to stabilize the department and complete the annual budget. If elected, I will increase transparency gained through communication with community stakeholders to help identify what true transparency looks like. The establishment of an annual report summarizing employee complaints and dispositions, as well as an early warning system to identify employees who receive multiple complaints as part of that process. I want to prevent problems by effectively training staff to be successful in meeting expectations. Training that includes recognizing implicit bias, crisis intervention techniques, current trends in substance abuse and treatment and supervision, management and mentoring. I want to support and improve the many inmate programs that were initiated while I was in the department, such as the Independent Five Keys Charter School, restorative justice programs, our veterans programs, our women's programs, and the Sheriff's Garden Project that delivers services to at-risk youth by providing paid internships and job training, working in our organic garden and landscaping public lands. I want to increase communication and collaboration with our partners, including those in criminal justice, social justice, and the community, to be real co-producers of public safety. By virtue of my experience and knowledge, I am the most qualified candidate for this office, and I hope that you will honor me with your vote for sheriff on November 3rd. Thank you. Thank you.